Yo, so, uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to get all the orb artifacts that just got added. You can get these without any souls, except for the last one that you get, and I'll explain that later. But you see this orb, this one you get over here, near one of these trees, should be like right at this spot on the tree. Alright, now the next orb we want to get is the orb of the water, which is blue. And looks like this. So that would be this orb. So let's uh, hurry on over to where you've got it. So you uh, come over to this area where the water is. And you come to where you find the crane. Right here. So this one emits light and it should be like right under the water here. Like it should be glowing somewhere around this area. And that's it for the orbs you find in the city. Let me try to get up here. All right. So the next area we go to when we want to find our orbs is at the new cliffs area, which replaced the park. And I will admit the park was kind of boring, so I'm happy it got replaced. Uh, oh yeah, the park shop is still there, by the way, so you can still get it. Like the stuff you wanted to buy there, but considering the park shop was made, I don't think you care. So we're at the cliffs, and you want to come over to this place. Walk up the stairs. Find the sword. Now only those who wield the eternal flame may pull the sword from the stone. So if you have the item, you can open the... this. Now I'll, I'll show you how to get the item. On the, when we get to our next artifact. So, uh, you go to items, you need this. Uh, hold on. Yeah, it's right here. So you come on down in here, and there will be a statue. Yep. And this statue will have the first artifact I found, the Orb of the Wild on it, which supports wind types. So you find this orb. Then, and I'm saying this to make it easier to get the last orb, specifically for that reason uh you probably want to get the orb of the darkness before you get the light one and i will show you why so we come over to that waterfall go ahead swim up my recommendation is that you just hold space like don't bother holding w because it'll slow you down by a lot And the reason my character is walking fast is because I have the Cardian Coffee. So we come over into this cavern here. And this altar won't be destroyed when you first get to it. But basically, every time you click the altar, it'll say something like, Oh, a spirit's getting angry at you from somewhere. And you gotta keep doing it until it frickin' explodes, and then you get warped into the Shadow Realm. Now, from the Shadow Realm... You walk along this path, and you find where you get sent when you lose a shadow duel. And you can do the obby, I just, I don't recommend it, because you can't see. Like, it's possible I can do it right now, but for speed reasons, let's not. Let's talk to the res uh, resentful one, pay him, and we can get out immediately. So, after that, you get the orb of void, which allows you to freely enter the shadow realm at any point. Now then, this NPC is new. Listen well, Shadow Dweller. Give me 50 souls and I'll offer you the counterpart to your Orb of the Void. Now you pay him 50 souls and you get the one of light, basically. Alright, okay, so now we'll come out because the Shadow Realm is basically a shortcut now. And we'll come back to the train station.
go to the volcano this time. There are no orbs at the academy, by the way. Now, this, this is the, uh, the difficult part, or at least it was difficult for me. And with the, uh, with this coffee, it's gonna, probably gonna be harder. Or not. Okay, that was a terrible idea. See, uh, that's what happens when you rush through things. I say as I proceed to rush through things. Alright, so, when you get to this area, there should be a note around here, and then you want to type... this. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe you want to say... I don't get it. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. How do you do the thing? Because this thing should be moving. Right, so like... I'll figure it out, but... You're supposed to say some code word, and the item you get, the, the little note you pick up, is this. So, uh... Yeah. Well... After you get the fire orb, I think that's pretty much it. Now I'll go over what all the orbs I have can do. So starting with the orb of the void, once per duel, you can send one, five random dark monsters from your deck to the graveyard. If you defeat an opponent using this artifact, you take an additional soul for them directly. So here's the thing. In a shadow duel, if your opponent's using an artifact and you defeat them, you will take uh, two souls instead of one. And if you're using this artifact, you take one directly from their soul counter. So you can end up getting three souls per win, which is how I got 35, and I just started using this artifact. Uh, so basically, the other ones just do the same thing, but for their specific attribute. So once per duel, you can add two random wind monsters from your graveyard to your hand. Same thing with earth, same thing with fire, and same thing with water. I know... The Orb of Light probably does something more along the lines of you can special summon one light monster from your graveyard twice per duel. And it starts you off with uh, 10,000, no, 20, not 20, not 20, it was 12,000, yeah, 12,000 life points. But uh, I guess I'll make a part two when I get that orb. See y'all.